some different shit. I might just hit your bitch out walking the park. Kayla Williams, Jaden Daniels, Bo Nix. First pick, second pick, and 12th pick in this year's 2024 NFL Draft. And these are your only rookies that are starting at the quarterback position. What's up, everybody? I'm Darren Randall. Welcome back to Let It Be Known. It's crazy that the NFL season is already four games in, almost a quarter through, but we need to talk about what I feel like are the top three quarterbacks from the 2024 NFL Draft. Starting off the list at number one, no surprise, Jaden Daniels. He's absolutely set the league on fire. He's top five in the EPA and also QBR. Jaden Daniels has been also at one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the league to start off the season with an 80% completion percentage. And if you watched the last game against the Bengals where he threw 21 completions, 23 attempts, 254 yards, two touchdowns, and zero interceptions, as a Washington Commander fan, this is something that they haven't seen since sliced bread. What impresses me most about Jaden Daniels has not been his downfield accuracy, it hasn't been his short field accuracy, it hasn't been his completion percentage. Honestly, it's been his leadership. Give me enough air, I can go get it. And so for us to make that play, for him to continue to throw pet plays at Zach, use his beat uh, to get first downs, the dude is tough, man. I think he grew up tonight. Um, you know, he's been doing a great job in Cam making those throws, but to come out here and do what you got to have with the game on the line, uh, that's what great players are about. And I think he's going to be well on his way if he continues to work. I feel like he's leading a pack full of young guys that are hungry and don't know what winning feels like. Terry McLaurin has been asking, honestly, for years for a quarterback like this. And now he has somebody that I feel like that can get him the ball and is going to be an absolute game changer in the NFC East. At the number two spot, I'm going with Bo Nix. Not the most impressive start to a season, but not the absolute worst. He's coming off a very impressive win against the Jets and before that he competed against the Buccaneers and also the Steelers those are two very good defenses and if you look at the weapons that he has around him it's not like he has a whole bunch of superstars but he's doing what he has to do to get the dub remind you this guy played a lot of college ball he's 24 years old and he has now a great coach being a Sean Payton with a little bit of push and a little bit of drive and a little bit of belief in this young quarterback I feel like the sky's the limit for Bo Nix the most disappointing thing about Bo Nix so far has has to been his accuracy. I think he needs to get on target. He needs to make some of these deep throws and some of these shorter passes. If that can change, if he could just be a little bit more accurate, I feel like the Broncos possibly found them a great quarterback for the future. At number three, I'm going with Caleb Williams. There's no secret that he's been probably the most anticipated quarterback coming out the draft. Some of Caleb Williams' rookie comparisons were guys like Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and Matthew Stafford. So far to start the season, has been completely disappointing. And many Bears fans felt like Caleb Williams was just going to step in and automatically be way better than Justin Fields. And honestly, it hasn't been like that. He has three touchdowns, four interceptions, and he's been sacked 16 times. So maybe this disaster is not completely on him, but what I do know is Caleb is missing throws that he's not known for usually missing. He's been incredibly inaccurate downfield and the short game is not much better. This is very surprising considering all the weapons he has like DJ Moore, Roma Dunze, DeAndre Swift, and even Keenan Allen. After a great team win against the Tennessee Titans where Caleb Williams threw for zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, and 93 yards, I'm excited to see if Caleb Williams is going to be able to build off this team win. Maybe he's going to build some confidence and be able to do some things that we've known him to do throughout his career. With all the talent around him, you were expecting more efficiency. Sometimes the pressure from the offensive line has caved in on him and other times Caleb Williams is missing wide open DJ Moore in the end zone fucking up my fantasy football team and many others in my humble opinion I do feel like Caleb Williams is gonna bounce back and shake off some of the rust that he's been showing through the first four games of the season I just feel like it's gonna take a little bit of time what terrifies me most about this situation is the Bears organization and their fan base. It was nothing to get rid of Justin Fields and it was nothing to get rid of Mitchell Trubisky. So what's one more first round quarterback? So hopefully the Bears get this young kid multiple years to develop into the star that I feel like he can be. And hopefully they just take their time and let him be Caleb. So with that being said, I've got Caleb as my number three quarterback. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm gone. We out.